Hello everybody, welcome back to Art Symbol Studios. Who here is afraid of oils? Because they're smelly, you need spirits, you need to clean brushes, it's all complicated, and magic. We have water-soluble oil. How awesome is that? All you need is water. It's magical. So I have most of the colors that come with the set of 10 and white, of course. It doesn't come with this size. And who could resist? I got a few extras. I have this in watercolor from Mango, exactly the same color. Beautiful. 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 <laughs> Convenient. Not my favorite. We're not going to look at these guys yet, but we're going to check out how are these guys looking in white and how are they mixing and what are these guys for? What do they do? Do they work? I think they work. I tested them out. So the set comes with 10 colors. I have most of them. I think it comes with Pyral Red and I have the Pyral Red Deep. And I have a Lamb Black instead of the Ivory Black. Otherwise, all of the other colors are like in the set. So pretty nice size tubes, 40 ml. It has the name Cobra. My set is an artist quality. It also has student quality Cobras. It has, it's a water mixable oil color. There's the pigment information on the back, name of the color, the opacity information and light fastness information. So let's look at what the colors look like. I already squeezed them all out, so I don't need to mess with that. And let's just see what they look like. This one is permanent yellow light. As you can see, most of the colors are transparent in the set or semi-transparent. So that's the only kind of a downside of the set for me, because I like mine more opaque. And we have the permanent orange and pyral red deep. So the one that comes in the set is a little bit lighter. Permanent red violet light. And this one says it's opaque, but it's not covering the black. It's still not like super opaque. And we have the ultramarine, permanent green deep. Burnt Sienna, it's pretty. And the yellow ochre, that one's opaque. I have the lamb black instead of the ivory black. And the titanium white. That looks like a nice, nice opaque white. So kind of an interesting set of colors. I guess you have everything that you need. Mm, I probably want another blue in mine and I usually add like a burnt umber but the burnt umber and cobra is also very transparent so it's kind of mm, so so maybe you can mix your own browns too so let's see how what mixes we can make with this suit kind of green we can make first <laughs> so that's easy we got an olivey and how about, okay, I think this one is more, yeah, like a warmer purple. I made it too watery, <laughs> you can add water. They don't recommend adding too much water in this, by the way. Let's see if we can do a violet color. Oh, that looks nice and pretty. Yeah, this is beautiful. Let's see if we can make like a brown, maybe? <laughs> kind of a not very brown. 
And we'll try different colors. Let's see. I just want to show you how the spiral red looks with the white. It's kind of a nice opaque, pretty pink. So if you add white in any of these transparent colors, of course you're going to make them more opaque. So this is in comparison to my green. I don't like this. I think this is Frederick's um, oil paper. I don't like the texture on this, but the one that I used for the actual painting, Strathmore 400 series oil paper, that one is really good. I like the texture a lot better. It has like this longer, mm, not as textured texture, <laughs> if it makes sense. It's more, it's just smoother. This one I added a little bit more white and the Sienna. It's actually a really pretty color. I want to mix the skin color. That's nice. Look <laughs> at that, beautiful. This is very kind of neutral skin color. Just to show you what the pre-mixed one looks like. This one has a little bit more mm, pink, maybe. It's got more peachy. You can also lighten it. As you can see, the paints are very, very smooth and they spread very nicely. I have a little bit of water on my brush, but not a lot. I try to keep it more, not as saturated, so it doesn't mm, kind of split the particles apart if you have too much water on it. One more thing I wanted to show you is what these guys are. I think you should get this if you get in the set of or a few of the cover colors because when I, I tested this guy out, quick dry and medium, and all you do, so if I add, let's say I had my color here, I usually use a few drops. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use. I couldn't really like find instructions, but I think the more you put in, the more flowy the paint becomes and it's supposed to make it more shiny and more transparent as well. So it does make the body a little bit softer when you add this in. And then depending on how much of the color you've put on, on your painting, it works like, it will work nice as an underpainting because it does dry pretty quickly. Mine dried, almost dried completely in 24 hours. Because you are working with oil and it does take time for oil to dry. I think the average drying time is about maybe a month. The Painting medium, so your quick dry and medium is more like a thinner, I guess. The painting medium, let me get this one. See how it more stands up? Yeah, it's a little bit of a heavier body. So you would add this to add more transparency and just flow. And you use this so you use this to thin it instead of the water basically so like maybe like a linseed oil for oils but you can tell how consistency changed into more spreadable I guess is that what you want to call it so it's easier to put this on your canvas especially when you're trying to put on the first layer these paints are transparent for the most part, so they do like layers. You are using it with the quick dry medium. You can create the underpainting first and then you can finish it up with other thinner layers and then thicker layers on top of that. So let's see how these paints look in action. Don't you guys love technology? I think it's fascinating how people came up with the way for the water to work with oil. 
I'm not a chemist, so I really don't understand how it works, but it does. There is a slight oil smell when you work with this paint, but I thought of it as pleasant. You can definitely use water to thin the paint, but I'm not a fan how paint loses the body completely and becomes almost like watercolor wash. I think a little water on a brush is okay, otherwise use mediums. By the way, when you clean your brush in the water, it helps to have a rag or paper towel to get excess paint off first and finish up by removing most of the water from the brush. The paints are beautiful. They have a nice, thick, smooth consistency. They spread well, they mix well. They don't have a lot of color shift when they dry. They dry to a nice glossy finish and look like oil. You can use the painting mediums to modify the flow and the transparency of the paint without losing the integrity of viscosity or glossy finish. Quick drying medium really helps with the flow and drying time. Different pigments will dry at different time, but they still recommend not to touch the finished painting for at least a month. And if you want to varnish your painting, you need to wait at least six months. This paint works like oils, but without solvents. You have time to blend and add more depths. I think quick drying medium is a nice addition. Like I mentioned before, it's similar to the thinner, although it has a thicker, oily consistency and even with the drying medium, you still have time to work. Unlike acrylics, it will stay workable for about a day. Let's check out a little bit more details on Royal Talents website. It says there are 70 colors in the range that comes in 40 mil tubes and 30 of those come in 150 mil tubes. Like I showed you the white that I have, that one is a large tube. They all have highest degree of light fastness, so all of their 70 colors. Range includes 32 monopigmented colors, including 10 colors based on exclusive pigments. It's like half of their colors are monopigmented. That's pretty nice. These paints are nicely pigmented, you don't need a lot, and they're reasonably priced. Probably because we're dealing with Royal Talents brand. I'm working in my self-made oil paper sketchbook. I made it out of Strassmore 400 series oil paper. It has a nice light texture and just works well with oil. I really like it. I like my synthetic acrylic brushes best for this paint. Short stiff bristles work really well. They don't hold a lot of water and they do not create a lot of texture. I think you can work with oil brushes too on canvas or larger size, or maybe it's just a preference. These paints are fun and absolutely not scary. I'm still scared of traditional oils. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, love to all, and have a great day.